In life we make decisions and each and every decision that we make has a repercussion. It's either a positive repercussion or a negative. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Miss Fina. If you're new here, welcome to the squad. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always sticking by. So today guys, we are doing a sit down video and our topic in our topic is going to be lessons that we've learned in 2021 or rather lessons that I have learned in 2021. So kindly remember to like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned as I take you through the lessons that I have learned in 2021. I know it's going, it's going to be an enjoyable segment. So stay tuned. Cheers to that guys. On the lessons that I have learned in 2021, I am going to start up I have put them in different segments so I'm going to start with my personal growth on my personal space so that is just more about being self-aware okay what I know about being self-aware it is a continuous journey it's never a complete journey like each and every day we are always finding something about ourselves like for instance oh I love this I hate this I think these are my boundaries I think this person is crossing my bound my boundaries so it is always a learning process it's never a complete circle or rather a complete journey but one thing about being self-aware is that i know my weakness and i know my strengths you get it so i'm not going to let somebody you know one thing about human beings we really we really like focusing on the on the mistakes or rather on the negative side or rather on the weaknesses of people we like judging people based on their weaknesses instead of just trying so hard to focus on their strengths we all have weaknesses and we all have strengths anyway one point that i have learned that i have my weaknesses and i have my strengths i have my weaknesses and i acknowledge my weaknesses um, each and every day I try to be a better person. I try to work on my weaknesses. So if somebody is coming to judge me or to throw words at me or to talk about me based on my weaknesses, I'm always like, yes, I acknowledge that is a weakness that I have. But the good thing is that I am working on it. So nobody is going to make me feel bad because of my weaknesses. I don't know if you get the point. Let no one make you feel bad because of your weaknesses. Rather, let's always advise each other to just focus on the positive side of people. So one thing that I have learned in 2021 is that I have my weaknesses and I have my strengths. So my strengths make me feel good and make me know that, oh, I, can, I am capable of doing this and this. But my weaknesses remind me that I am a human being and I have my low moments and I have my high moments and I have my weaknesses and I have... I have my strengths but it is upon me to choose to work on my weaknesses so that is one of the point about personal growth another thing that i have learned in my personal space or in my personal space is that i have to give myself the life that i envision the type of life that i want to live living in a good house having that car i have to try so hard to give myself that life that i am envisioning i'm not going to sit down and wait for somebody to come into my life to give me that life that i am envisioning because they really don't know what type of lifestyle i want to live so one thing that i have learned or rather i told myself in 2021 going onwards i'm going to try so hard to give myself that life that i envision i'm not going to sit and wait for somebody because you don't know how long you're going to wait for somebody to come and give you that life that you are envisioning so the point is that okay i have learned to create boundaries boundaries when it comes to family boundaries when it comes to friendships boundaries when it comes to my co-workers but i have learned to create boundaries and to stick by them so you know one thing about boundaries is we create boundaries but we don't communicate our boundaries and i have learned to create them and to also communicate them so this is to say for instance let me uh, use the working space place or at any given workplace we always have those moments like you rub shoulders with the management or something like we always just have those moments but then i 
I put it behind my mind that we are always going to rub shoulders with people one way or another. That's just a human being nature, I think. So what I told myself is I'm not going to put myself or, or rather I'm not going to allow. Let me say I'm not going to allow the manager to just throw words at me or to talk to me the way he wants but I'm going to communicate it to him like kind, kindly when you talk to me just talk to me well like you don't have to shout at me to pass your point just tell me something in a good way and if I have made a mistake just teach me or rather show me the correct way instead of throwing words at me or going around lashing and all that no tell me hapa seli umekosea this is how you're supposed to do it and give me a chance to do it if i don't do it and then you have a right to take it to another step but you're not going to come and shout at me the way you want at just because uko na cheo apana we are not doing that we are human beings we talk to each other nicely we talk to each other slowly i know sometimes some we all get to that anger moment but like there are just places that I don't allow them to pass because I know the state that I have with my anger issues so instead of being so mad at my workplace or going each and every day going to work and I'm just like ah akinaenda kupatana na huyu na huyu mtu no I rather communicate hapa yenyewe umenikanyaga vibaya or even to my coworkers like talk to me nicely you don't have to shout at me as in respect me you get it yani i just communicate them like nicely by the way initially i just used to also lash out i'm like apana you na nikosea heshima sijui nini nini but nowadays i've just learned to tell somebody nicely i think you're crossing my boundaries and i'm not in a position to hold this conversation for any longer period or rather if you don't correct the way you approach me or the way you talk to me i think we won't be we won't be like working together if or sana you get it you'll have maybe to pass through somebody to bring information to me or I'd rather have to pass through somebody to bring information to you so that is one of the thing that i'm really grateful that i've got to that point at my workplace when something is wrong or when somebody is treating me wrong or treating me bad or saying bad things about me i just go and face them i have a story time for that but there was one person i really faced and i was just like yo it is enough it is enough respect me i respect you i mean you're not going to walk in the whole shop or rather you're not going to spread rumors about me bad rumors about me and yet there is nothing that i have done you know you know people just have a tendency of kuaribia watu wengine jina just maybe because he he envies the way you live the way you carry yourself or vitu kama hizo but then me i just told this person you are not going to rubbish my name to my coworkers here at work because i spend here many hours so i'm not going to always come here to work crying or feeling bad because of you hapana lazima heshima ikue respect me and i respect you and to be honest after me facing him and telling him how i felt and everything that he was doing bad to me we are now working together very well i mean Okay when it comes to boundaries when it comes to friendship and family let me just generalize them one thing i've learned is to also communicate like when somebody is trying to do something bad to me i just tell them or if i'm not in a position to tell them i give i give myself space and i give that person space to just think through like is this really what i want like is she a friend i want to keep or rather when it comes to family we also, we also have those moments when it comes to family i always choose to give somebody space so that they also give me space to just cool down and to stop being so mad or rather to try and understand why we had that misunderstanding in the first place and then at a later on I'll, at a later on stage i'll come and tell them anyway me this is how i felt you didn't treat me good and all that i mean we we'll, we create boundaries and we communicate them that is another thing i've learned when it comes to personal growth i'm going to appreciate and i'm going to celebrate each and every little milestone i take to somebody it may be a small milestone but to me honestly maybe it's the biggest thing i've ever done or rather it was the milestone that i was really waiting to I have told myself is that I am not going to be a people pleaser. I am going to live my life according to my best of knowledge. You get it. But I'm not going to listen to what people tell me or how people want to control how I live my life, how I dress, how I look, how I walk, how I talk apana. I'm not going I'm, I am not giving anybody that space to control me. So I live my life the way I want. You go talk about me. I mean when you talk, ukijamaliza kuongea, ai 
kwani imejiandika kwa mgongo ati this person talked bad about me no i am going to live my life according to the best of my knowledge and i am going to enjoy my life according to the best of my my knowledge so stop being a people pleaser or I mean, we are growing old we don't have space for all that what waishi maisha yao venye wanataka another point is that i am my own best friend i am my own best coworker i am my own partner i mean i am working on myself as a person to be the best partner to somebody to be the best coworker or let's say i am my own best friend i mean i'm going to take myself to those solo dates i'm going to to do the solo travels if it takes me i'm just going to make things that you know when you're with a best friend there are things you do with a, with your best friend so i'm not going to wait for my friends or to my, for my partner so that i can do things no i'm going to be my own partner my own best friend my own coworker so each and everything that i'm going to do i'm going to put the best of my foot forward anyway i think i am done i hope you love this kind of content i hope I am being positive on this segment because honestly this year I just want this space to be a positive space. Kindly remember to like, share and subscribe. It's your girl Miss Fina. So guys, I hope the lesson I have put out this video about the lesson that I have learned in 2021 so that you can <coughs> sorry, so that you can also learn something from them. And so if th there's also something that you have learned in 2021, kindly leave it down in the comment section so that people can also read it and get the points like let us learn to put out content that is positive or content that we can also learn from each other and that's what we are trying to do on this platform and we are keeping it positive here manzemu sikuja huko na makasiriko eh bro